Hi, I'm Big Sis. Hi, I'm Little Sis, and welcome, and welcome to, to The Eyes Have It. I have Little Sis here today to do two of my unboxings, and so we're going to start with BoxyCharm. Now, unfortunately, as you may have seen when you looked at other people's BoxyCharm videos, BoxyCharm is no longer, they're still doing a theme for each month, but they're no longer putting the description and the prices on the back. You have to go on the website, which sucks, because I can't then describe the product for you. But I did go on the website and write the prices down. So, all right, you can hand them to me. Just, since we don't have a list, just go with whatever you find first. I thought this was a pretty exciting box. All right, this is the only thing I gotta say that I'm a little disappointed about, because, Several other BoxyCharm uh, unboxings I watched had like really high-end uh, lotion moisturizer or the, whatever it's called, the plumping, the under-eye plumping lotion or something. And I got a body illuminizer, something that I will probably never use. So if there's anybody out there who got the moisturizer and doesn't want it, uh, I'd be happy to trade you for the body illuminator. It is from Ofra. And it is called Charmer. Radiant body cream to give your skin a sun-kissed glimmer. The Illuminizer is $20. $20. Now, this was super exciting stuff. <laughs> I love Makeup Geek shadows, as many of you do. And we got two Makeup, shadow, makeup Geek shadows this month. Uh, one that I already had and one that I didn't. The one that I already had it is a great shade, and it is a an unusual shade. You look at it and you go, eh, it's light pink. But it really isn't. It's got this just really interesting finish that isn't just pink. Okay, I'm going to swatch. and that, Oh, and it's so satiny. Okay, there's our swatches. You can see it. The Makeup Geek. Shadows are six each. Six each. So this one is called Cupcake, and I just love it. I have used it quite a lot. I've had it for a long time. The other one is a duochrome, which was exciting because I don't have any of her duochromes yet. So this one is called Mai Tai. I tried using it yesterday. I'm going to be honest. I didn't get a great deal of payoff on it, but it looks to be... Bronze. Is that what it looks like to you? It looks a little bronze to me. Uh, between a pink and, and, you know, maybe a rose gold or copper, something like that. Why don't you swatch too? Put it somewhere where you can hold up to the camera. Okay, and then I'm going to put it on the arm right here. Yeah, see, it just doesn't, doesn't uh, show up much. Oh, now there, on my skin... It looks like a really light copper. See, this is what it looks like. It looks we'll orange on me. Okay, we'll show what it looks like on you. Yeah, it does look like a very different color on her than it does on me. And again, very velvety, soft. But I don't really see the duochromeness of it. Yeah, I guess I see it a little bit more now. It isn't super, super, super sparkly or anything, and I like that because I don't like super, super sparkly. I like shimmer but not like chunks of glitter. All right, and those are six each. Okay, next. Shella Eyebrow. The Shella Eyebrow Pencil, and the color is Tantalizing Taupe. I had never heard of this brand before that I can remember. Some other people that I watched said they had used these products before and liked them. So this is very nice, fine tip. And uh, the color on me, there is the Ofra pencil on me. That's the taupe. It tickles. <laughs> so there you go. It is actually a nice color. I have not tried it yet. It probably is going to be a little too dark for me. Okay, and uh, the eyebrow, the shell eyebrow is $18. All right, a brush. We love a brush. <laughs> And this, I believe, is my first Luxie. Um, who was it, Jen? 
of uh, Makeup by Shea had this like entire collection of Luxie brushes behind her when she filmed her boxy chart. But I think this is my first. This is the Luxie 512 Small Contouring Brush. It's pretty. It's very soft. Nice and small. Not, not very firm though. In fact, not not very firm at all, but if you were just doing light strokes for contouring or down the nose or whatever, that would work. And it's got a pretty pale pink handle to it. And that Luxie brush is $16. $16. All right. And what do we have left? This? Yes. yes. The Cath Catherine Malandrino is a designer, a clothing designer uh, in Italy. And uh, she has apparently come out with a perfume. Now, you know me and uh, fragrances. So here's what I'm going to do. I am not going to spray it on me. Spray I, it on me. I will s just a little bit on her because if, even if she likes it, it would bother me. You know, it has a nice springy sort of smell to it. Uh, I just don't want to spray it on myself. Is that it? I'm squeezing. Up. Oh! There we go. Ah, oh, that smells so good. Tell them what it smells like. Can you think of like... Um, it smells like if you have like Febreze, like a type of Febreze, like um... I mean, does it smell like lemony or like flowery? A, it smells like lemon mixed with flower a little bit because it's more flower than lemon. Okay. So that, um, I am not going to keep, but that runs, um, $20. Oh, wait, I told the wrong for Ofra. Ofra is $40. Oh, Ofra Illuminizer is $40? Well, it is a nice big tube, but it's not something at my age that I'm really into. So like I said, if anybody wants a trade, hit me up. Hit me up. <laughs> All right, so... That is our boxy charm for the month. <clears throat> Take care, be well, well and, and always be yourself. yourself. Bye.